Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, prove that that's divisible by 7. So, first you prove it for the first case, n is 1. So, does 7 divide into 2 power 2 plus 3? Does 7 divide into 7? That's true. Then 2, um, we assume 7 divides into 2 power 3k minus 1 plus 3. That's case k. And then step 3, we're required to prove that 7 divides into 2 power 3k plus 1 minus 1 plus 3. 7 divides into 2 power 3k uh, plus 3 minus 1 is plus 2 plus 3. To prove that 7 divides into 2 power 3k times 8 3k minus 1 2 power 3 plus 3 I, I if you add these if you multiply these together the powers add and it goes back to that and then this 8 here This is 2 power 8. I'm going to change that into 7 plus 1 plus 3. Does 7 divide into 2 power 3k times 7 plus 2 power 3k minus 1? I'm just expanding here, plus 3. Yeah, okay. So 7 does divide into this. This is clearly true. And then 7 does divide into this because that's from what we assumed in 2. So step 4, 1 plus 2 plus 3. That means n is 1. Uh, case is true n equals 2, that case is true, etc. Right, there's an aromatic sequence. Find the nth term. So the nth term is a, which is p, plus n minus 1 times d, which is 7. So that's p plus 7n minus 7. Uh, that's it, I guess. Okay, find the smallest value of p for which 2021 is a term in the sequence. So you want tn to be 2021. You want p plus 7n minus 7 to be 2021. p has to be a natural number. p will be 2028. Minus 7n. Um, the smallest value of p will be the biggest value of n. How many times does 7 go into You're going to be lazy now. This is the first time I can't resist using a calculator in the exam. So it took me until question four until I lost the uh, strength to review using a calculator. 
Where is it on my phone? Two o two eight divided by seven. Yeah, two eight nine times seven. I can get this as as high as two o two tray. That's using 289 for n. 5, that's the smallest I can make p. And then the 289th term, which is irrelevant, will be 2021. Okay. I just wonder if this has any link to the first part. Okay.